Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. Today we're going to be talking about filling his emotional tank. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. Uh, before we get started, YouTube, I need you to like, share, and subscribe because um, we want to get all of this good information out there to the masses. That, that's how we learn. We learn by sharing information. Uh, before I get started, let me go ahead and give uh, Crystal and Tres Bella a shout out for this beautiful unit because I am loving it and uh, Spencer haven't come up with a name for her yet. So um, when he come up with a name, I'm going to tell y'all what we're going to call her. All right. So <laughs> let's get started. Um, I was actually driving down Greenwell Springs Road the other day. And if those of y'all that are local, y'all know what Greenwell Springs Road is. And I had this big, huge epiphany that um, came over me because I think I may have shared with you all that I'm actually writing the curriculum to my quote unquote wife school, but we have not come up with an official name for it. But that's just what I'm calling it because it's certain fundamentals and principles that um that I want to teach. Okay. So anyway, I remember telling my husband that I wanted an Audi. He was like, what is your dream car? I was like, I want an Audi. I, this is what I want. So when it came time for me to go out and pick the car that I wanted, quite naturally, we went to the Audi dealership. I was so excited about this Audi. I was getting the car, the car that, that worked for it, you know, Y'all understand what I'm saying when, when you're getting a new car, especially your dream car, the one that you want. I remember getting this car. I remember them giving it to me, the, the full tank of gas. I'm talking about clean, tie, like in, in tip top shape. The, the, in other words, you know how you get this new car and you, you tell people you can't eat in my car. Because, mm -mm. you know, all of a sudden you get your new car and your, your children can't eat in your car no more. Because you want to take care of your good shit that you got. You want to take care of it, right? And you can get right there to half a tank of gas. You're going to the gas station. And you filling it up because, oh, I don't want my shit to get below a half a tank of gas. Because you value this car. In, in other words, you know, you you cherish it. You you grateful all of these things that come along with this new car. You want your car to have the new car smell. You got all of this going on with the new car. And I was driving and the Lord himself just said, that's exactly how women are about men in the beginning. They are willing to put in work for it, meaning they're willing to take care of it. You're going to keep it filled, the tank filled up. You're going to do... All of these things that you got to do in the beginning to maintain it. And then at some point, just like with the relationship, that's the same way we do with the car. All of a sudden, the, the gas light coming on because we riding it close to E. All of a sudden, one bag then turned to two bags. And now you got cups in the car and keeping it clean ain't just necessarily the top priority. And it's not, it's, it's just not the top priority anymore. In other words, the thrill is gone. The newness is gone. And that's exactly how we are sometimes in our relationships. I want us to get back to that, keeping that tank full. You understand when you drive a car all day long, you drive this car, at some point you got to fill this tank back up. Men have what's called an emotional tank. They are driving the car all day long, utilizing all of this good gas, all of this, everything that they got, they're utilizing it out there in the world. 
and they come home and they rely on us to fill that emotional tank. So I want you to ask yourself, when was the last time that I feel my man's emotional tank? When did I check in with him to make sure that he is okay, not only physically, but mentally? Because we, can re we have to check on people to make sure that they are right mentally. So when I'm telling you about being the feminine asset to your relationship, I'm trying to teach you the things that the feminine asset does. And one of the things that the feminine asset does in a relationship is she feels that emotional tank. We all like praise. We all like validation to a certain extent. I don't care who you are, man, woman, child, we all like praise and validation. And we tend to want to go where we're being praised, where we're being validated, where we're being told you're doing a good job. Some people, I'm going to use school for an example. Any of y'all had, had a favorite teacher? Anybody ever had a favorite teacher? More than likely, she was your favorite teacher because she was telling you, good job. You're doing a good job. This is what you work need to work on, but overall, you're doing a good job. But when you go home, you may not have a parent that's into you like that, that's telling you, you're doing a good job, work on this and that, the other. So what happens is you tend to always want to go to school to get to this teacher that is constantly validating you. That's how they became your favorite teacher. The same thing happens in relationships. If you were the person that was always doing the validating and, and always stroking their ego and all of this, and now you got the person and you no longer doing those things, the ego still got to get stroked. The person still got to get validated. You just might not be the person that's doing it. They may be getting the validation elsewhere and that's where they tend to want to be, want to cling to. They want to go places where people are congratulating them and telling them, good job. How often are we supposed to be feeling this emotional tank? If you're going to tell a person one bad, you better come back with three good. We have to feel that emotional tank daily. We have to let the person that we are in a relationship know daily that we admire them and we appreciate them it's just if, if you ain't if you're not ready to do this this type of work you ain't ready for marriage you're not ready for relationships because the thing is marriage and relationships require work full-time non-stop the same way we have to do with our children we have to do with our men the same way we have to let our children know things are okay and all right. We have to do the same thing with our men. This is what we have to do. And some people up for the task and some people sit back there and say, I'm not doing all this shit. And when you don't do all this shit, I want you just to look at your relationship. Because a lot of y'all walking around here thinking all y'all shit good and it ain't. A lot of y'all thinking that a motherfucker ain't looking elsewhere when they are. And it's because certain things are not happening in the immediate relationship. So I want you to get back to that new car when it was brand new. Because all of us love the newness of stuff. See, when you first dating somebody, you telling your girl, oh, girl, I don't know. He, he too good to be true. I ain't seen nothing wrong with him yet. I ain't found a flaw yet. Because you enjoying the newness. It's the newness. Stick with it a little while. And eventually you'll start seeing different little things here and there. Because every last one of these people that be on the internet talking about how horrible the person is that they with was the same person that one time was talking about how great this person was. So when people come and talking about how horrible these people is at that point, if they was this horrible, why, how did you end up with them? What happened? So at some point they had to be great because if they wasn't, you wouldn't have continued this on for this long. Right? Okay. So we're going to talk real life or we're going to talk real life? Because I talk real life. We have to fill the emotional tank. The next thing you say is, Sharonda, you keep telling us all of this stuff to do for the men, 
You're not telling the men to do nothing for us. My audience is primarily female. So when I'm talking, I am talking to women. There's no sense in me telling your husband what he need to be doing or your boyfriend what he need to be doing when he's not the one that's tuning in. I'm talking to you because you're the one that's tuning in. Now, what I have learned over the years is our um, partners tend to mirror us. If I do nice things for my husband, in return, he does nice things for me. I always, when, there's, when there's a problem, I always start with me first. Sharonda, what can you do? What, what could you be doing different? I'm never pointing that finger when there's a problem. I'm always looking at me first because I need to see what I got to change first. Because sometimes it may be something that I'm doing. Sometimes I might be indirectly the problem and don't even know that I'm the problem. For real. A lot of times we want to say them, 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 them. And I get that. But what can you change? What do you have control over? So I'm a firm believer. When you, when you do good and give good, good come back to you. See, I ain't never, ever, ever worried about how much good I do for somebody else and whether it's coming back to me because I know one thing about the God I serve, he gonna make sure it come back to me. So when I'm doing good, it's coming from a good, sincere, honest place. And I ain't ever, ever, ever got to worry about it because who gonna take care of Sharonda? Yeah. All right. So... That is going to end my monologue, my real spill on filling up the tank, the emotional tank at that. And now we're going to get off into this product, which is the crotchless blue panties that we only get one time a year. Because this is not a color that we normally keep in the crotchless panties. But I like to show y'all. Now, y'all see how I'm stretching this out? You see that? If your ass this wide, you can feel them. Okay? That's a real big opening. You can wear them. Okay? These crotchless panties are not just for no little bitty person or this, this, that, the other. I don't care if you're 4X. You can get you a pair. They are on the website this month for $9.99. $9.99. They are in the store for $9.99. Okay? Take advantage of these great deals that I got. Take advantage of them. $9.99. Blue crotchless panties. $9.99. Okay? I don't want to hear about can they fit. Yes, they can fit. Okay? And then I have what's called the classic teddy. Y'all see that? Y'all can see it? I just want to make sure you can see it. This is your classic Teddy, $19.99. Now, they do come in black. They come in blue, pink, turquoise, and gold. All of $19.99 all have been added to the website, okay? All right, that is going to conclude Sex Talk with Sharonda. You all be blessed. You all be safe. And like, share, and subscribe.